What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a new project. Okay, so as you can see, I have here some projects, right, that I have previously opened or that I have previously created. So these are the projects. So that is the term that we're using in Revit, so we call it project. And like in AutoCAD, we call it drawing. So when you say project in Revit, it is the entire building uh, system design and all the associated documentation. So it provides complete information about uh, various parametric building components required to represent a building model in standard dimensional views and schedules. Okay, so each time you launch the software, so you always see this window, which is what we call the uh, recent files window. Okay, so for this exercise, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new project, and then after that, I'm going to set up the project. It's just a simple setting up of the project, and then after that, I'm going to transfer its standards to another project. Okay? So that is what I'm going to do. Alright? So the first thing that you need to do is, or that I need to do, I need to create a new project using a project template. So in Revit, okay, you always use a project template for you to start a, your project. Okay? So you will notice I already have a default templates here. So every time you install Revit, there is an out-of-the-box project template that is ready for you to use. So you have the construction template. You also have the architecture template. So what else? So you also have the structure template. And the last one is your uh, mechanical template. Okay, so these are the default templates that we can use. So for a construction template, uh, you can use these views uh, and preloaded schedules specific to the construction industry. So for the architecture template, this is for new projects that require the complete uh, customization for architectural uh, project. So mechanical template for designing mechanical systems that includes additional levels and views for structural for structural project. Okay? So for this exercise, so I'm going to create a new project using our template or my template. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new project or I can select any of the template here. So since I'm doing uh, MEP, okay, Revit MEP, so I can select here mechanical template, but it will only show me mechanical. If I want to include the electrical system, so I'm going to create a new one, okay, and then I'm going to browse, okay, so the template that I'm going to use is this one, systems default metric. So if I use this template, as you can see, the extension file is RTE, template file. If I use this template, it will show me also the electrical systems on the project browser. So what do I mean? Okay, so I'm going to select this to create a new project. Okay, so systems default. I'm going to use that to create a new project and then OK. All right. Okay. So as you can see, if you check out my project browser uh, here, it shows me the electrical as well as the mechanical and then the plumbing, right? MEP, the complete one. Okay. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize, for example, the project browser. So to do that, okay, you can right click the views here and then you can select browser organization okay so this is how you modify your project browser so i uh, right click and then select browser organization and then you can see here the browser organization okay 
you can customize your browser organization. So let's say on my browser organis uh, on my project browser, I want to show here the type and discipline. So I'm going to select this. Okay. And then after that, I'll try to edit. Okay. So I select edit. Okay, so let's say for the grouping and sorting, not the filter, but on my grouping and sorting. Okay, so I'm going to verify that family and type is there and discipline. And then after that, I want to add another uh, subcategory here under the discipline. So let's say I'm going to select here sub-discipline. Okay. So on my project browser, it will show me the uh, family and type, discipline, and then the sub-discipline. Okay? And then I'm going to sort it by the view name. Alright, so after that, I just select OK and then check out what will happen to my project browser. So I select OK. There you go. You notice it's now changed to type discipline. So if I'm going to expand that, Okay, right, so it will show me this hierarchy, uh, family and type, discipline, and then the sub-discipline, okay, and then after that, the view name, right, because that is the one that I have set up on my uh, browser organization. So group and sorting, so I want to show the family and type, family and type. Uh, the discipline, and then the sub-discipline, okay? So this is uh, one way of modifying your project by uh, organizing your project browser. Okay, so aside from that, another way to set up your project, aside from modifying the project browser, you can also specify the project information. So let's say, what is the project information of your project? Okay, so to specify the project information of the project, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Manage tab. Manage tab, and from the Settings panel, I'm going to select here the project information. So I select the project information, and then this is now the project information dialog box wherein you can specify the information of the project. Okay, so let's say, for example, I want to... Uh, place the address. Okay, so I'm going to select here the address. Okay. Right, so for example, the address is the, uh, example, the Autodesk address. So I'm going to select the ellipsis button. Okay, and then I'm key in here the Autodesk address. Okay, so I just type whatever address that you have there. Enter for second line. Okay. 94903. Enter USA. Okay, so there you go. So I now have the, the project address. And then let's say I want to uh, specify the project issue date. So what's the date? Say this is my the date is uh, J June 10, 2016. Project status Let's say, for example, a uh, work in progress. Owner is ABC. Project name P1234 underscore ABC. Okay, and then project number. 0123-0123. Okay, so after you specify the project information, so the next thing that I'm going to do is, so you just change the project information of your project. So every time you start a new project, okay, for information, okay. So I just select okay. So aside from that, you can also define the project parameters. So aside from the project browser, aside from the project information, you can also define the project parameters of your project. Okay, so to do that, from the Manage tab, okay, so this is how you create a project parameter. 
So I'm going to select here project parameters. Okay, so I'm going to add a parameter here. So I select add. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to create a para, uh, project parameter that is called view purpose. Okay, view purpose, the discipline is common, and then I want this parameter to be text so that I can type the value, I can key in, I can text. And then I'm going to group it under uh, other parameter or other group. So I just select other here. Okay. All right. So this is an instance. Okay, so with the view purpose parameter that I just created, so I can organize the project browser so that the views are grouped according to their purpose. Like for example, a view purpose can be the analytical, construction documentation, working, or any other purpose that you specify to better organize the views in the project browser. Okay, and then from my categories here, I want to place my view purpose parameter on my views, okay, on my views. Okay, then after that, I just select okay. Okay, and then I just select okay. There you go, and then okay. And then I just select modify. So you will notice my view purpose now is here on the view properties. Okay, there you go. So there's the view purpose. So from here, you can type, okay? So you can type the value. It can be analytical. It can be construction documentation, okay? It can be what? Working, okay? Or any other purpose that you specify to better organize your view, okay? All right. So that's the view purpose. So you can type from here. So let's say, oh, my lightning. Ah, my lighting here. This is only my, uh, what? Analytical. So I can type analytical. Okay, so analytical. So this is analytical. So there you go. So you see, it's analytical. What about this one? It's analytical also. So let's say the power here. So the power. Okay, so this view is only... Uh, this is for uh, construction documentation. Construction documentation. Okay, apply. Construction documentation. Okay, right? So let's say, for example, these two here, I want to place that also to analytical. Since I already key in the analytical, I can just click the drop down arrow here and then select analytical. Okay, so let's say for the plumbing, so I want this as my working drawing. I just type working. Okay, there you go. So you can specify. Later on, you can use that view purpose to set up also the project browser. Okay, so I'm going to show you that later on. Now, let's say for example, you already set up the project browser you already set up your your project information. You already create parameters to your project. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. Okay? So why am I going to create a new project? I'm going to show you how to transfer these project standards to another project. Alright? So currently, the name of my project here is Project 1. So I'm going to create a new project. All right, so I'm going to create a new uh, new project. I'm just going to use the default template here. So this is my new project. I'm not going to close this project one project. Okay, so now this is project two. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's say, for example, I want to use also the standards that I have uh, created from my previous project which is the project one. So I want to transfer those settings to project two. To do that, we have this tool that is called transfer project standards. All right? So where is this project? Uh, where is this transfer project standard? 
So I'm going to select here the Manage. From the Settings panel, you will see Transfer Project Standards. So it copy selected project settings from another open project to the current project. That's why I did not close the project one because I need that to be open for me to be able to get the, the standards and transfer to this current project. All right, so I select Transfer Project Standard. Okay, so as you can see, there's the project one. And then these are the standards that you can copy or that you can transfer to your current project. So this is very useful to your project. Okay, instead of redoing the setting up, so you can just uh, copy your, th that standards to your new project. See, but I'm not going to copy all the, all the standards here. So I'm going to select check none. So I just want to copy the settings of my project, uh, of my browser organization. And what else? The project info. Where is the project info? And then the project parameters. Because these are the, these are the only three parameters that we have set up on our project number one. So we just want to copy it here on our project number two. Okay, so I just select OK. Okay, so I just need to overwrite this. There you go. Now, so I'm going to right-click this. This is now the project 2, right? So I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to select Browser Organization. Okay, and then I'm going to select here the Type Discipline. So if I select here Edit, and then the group and uh, grouping sorting, you will notice it's already set up, right? So this is the setup that we have copied from the project number one. So I'm just showing you that it's really copied to this project. Okay, so I'll just select here, okay. And then, okay, there you go. So it's now set up, right? Okay. So next, what else? So if I'm going to check out the manage here and then the project information, you will notice the information that I have key in on my project number one. It's also transferred here on the project number two. Okay? Good. All right. So I just select OK. And then after that, what else? The project uh, parameter, right? You see the view purpose is also there. Okay, originally, we don't have project, uh, we don't have the view purpose when we started the project number two, but we have transferred it here. That's why the view purpose is here. Okay, so of course, you just need to key in again for the view. Since this is a new project, so you can key in here what is the, the purpose of each view in case you want to uh, give information to your project. All right. Okay, so basically, that's uh, these are just some of the uh, things that you can do to set up your project in Revit. Okay, you can set up the project, uh, the browser organization to modify the project browser. You can modify the project information. You can create the project parameters. Okay, again, these are just some of the few things that you can set up to your project. Okay. So hopefully you learned something from this video. So if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below. And then if you want, you can also like this video. Okay, if you learned something from this. And hopefully I can see you on my next video. So until then, you all stay beautiful and handsome. Take care.